All right, turn this down. Got a new place today that I've never eaten at. Blue Coast Burrito. I'll tell you right off, they had burritos, like the tortilla, that were like Walmart brand on the counter, like they didn't make their own, which is fast food, I expect that, but like, doll it up a little bit. I got the spicy chicken and a lot of stuff on it. I uh, also got a lot of attitude because I was ordering food at the restaurant. How, you know, what an asshole. Because, but that's the end result right there. So, we'll dive in and let you know. How do you even eat this? Just to give you a little perspective, there's my fork. I done got in. When I asked for guacamole, they said it'll be a dollar extra. Do I look like the kind of person who cares about a dollar extra? I hope not. Because everything I've done in my life has, I thought, brought me to the point where I'm 32 years old. I'm not 15. A dollar, a dollar is not going to break. Oh my God, a dollar. What do you even do with a dollar now? If you had said it was like, this is six dollars more for guacamole, then I'd be like, you know, what am I? You know, that's just going to affect me a little bit, but a dollar, I don't know. But are there people out there going like, a dollar, a dollar? I, you know, I know I worked at Subway, so yeah, they did. They they got really mad. Like, I want another two pounds of meat. And you're like, yeah, that's two extra dollars. And the reason you had to tell them was because at the end of the, I guess what they did to me, when you got to the register, why is it not five dollars? Because you ordered basically another sandwich, and they only charge you two dollars for that. I've been eating this for a couple minutes, and I finally got to some chicken, and I ordered spicy chicken because it said on the sign, "Iguana spicy chicken." They had in the parentheses, so you would, because I'm not Mexican yet. You know, spicy chicken right there for you idiots who don't speak Spanish in the USA. This isn't spicy. I mean, I've eaten spicy shit out of Bastion Robbins. They got a commercial on here where guys are just, they got these decoys in the water. Let's see what they're. Okay, they're showing you how they're unsinkable because they have a truck mounted automatic weapon and they're just tearing them up and they're still floating. That's the, This is bland. I should have went to McDonald's. More flavor. This is bland. This is Mexican food and it's bland. I'll tell you where you get this is when you go up to Ohio. I've only been to Ohio. This is far, far north I've ever been and I'm going to be honest, as far north as I ever want to go. I hate, I hate leaving the south for anything. And that's just how I am. But I go up to Ohio and these guys are getting psyched about their chili. Oh my God, we got some chili. Oh my God, you won't be able to eat. Oh my God, this chili. 
I mean, yeah, you go dump a bunch of hot sauce in it, it's good, but I'm talking about that, like getting that stuff hot, like with Tony's, you know, like putting spicy things in it to make it hot. Not, I dumped a gallon of hot sauce on it, now it's spicy. That's not spicy, that's just hot sauce. That's vinegar and whatever they make hot sauce, I don't know. But that's not spicy, that's hot sauce. I don't want to just taste hot. I make wings that you can't eat unless you're drunk because of the hot sauce. And they're good if you're drunk, but if you're not drunk, they're horrible. Sober folks don't eat them. I had my dollar's worth of guac and just ate that in that bite. They put it in one spot, like, what kind of idiot? Spread it out. Spread it out. Don't just pile it in the middle of the burrito. Taco Bell does better burritos, and it didn't cost 11 bucks. And I asked for a large drink. This isn't Europe. This is... Get back to my point in Ohio, they don't spice anything. Yeah, everything is bland. It, it, it comes to you bland. And they come over there, here's some hot pepper, here's some salt, if you want to make it better. They just cook meat with no spices. They just cook it. And they put it on a plate and they hand it to you. And you go, okay, great. And you bite into it and you're like, why are you the way you are? This is the worst. I've got a lot of good things to say about Ohio. Nothing. I have... Yeah. I'm just here to think about what's good about Ohio. I guess they keep a lot of peop a lot of idiots live there. Not really, they're not all idiots. Some of them are cool. The reality is, the president of the company I work for lives in Ohio, I'm, sh I'm sure, so I'm probably better. And it's not because I have some reason why, other than duck season happens to be pretty much prime deer season. And since I don't have months at a time off, I just pretty much, anytime I have off during deer season, I hunt deer. I, not very well, but that's what I like to do. I should, I should try duck hunting. It seems like it's fun. They ain't just sitting around being quiet and still for hours at a time. This burrito has been, I mean, honestly terrible from the beginning. We're coming up on the end. I almost ordered Domino's. Get blue coast burrito a try. My advice to you is if you pass it, just keep on passing it. This is terrible. The meat was cold. Yeah. From the time I got it. And yeah, you're probably why'd you keep eating it? I spent eleven bucks on it. I paid a dollar extra. <laughs> 